<laughs> but the gods are waiting. I am here on behalf of my father for the annual sacrifice. These three cocks represent my father, my brother, Ejike, and myself, Obina. Let it be. What, what, what do we do? Nothing. Somebody's going to die. We have to do something. I cannot change what is about to happen. What is it that is about to happen? Your father. Is, 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 is my sick father going to die? He has tired and bound something. What is the meaning of that? You are hard to see your father and ask him instead of me wasting my time explaining it. Refused to accept the sacrifice. <coughs> Can we talk tomorrow? Father, I said the gods refused to accept the sacrifice. <coughs> Your wife wants to see you. Tell her I'm coming. I think she's very sick. What is wrong with you? Uh, I have a headache. I've just been and I feel tired. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let me take you to the hospital. Come on. Dr. Mizzi just left here, but I'm not feeling any better. My love, come, come on, let me take you to the hospital, okay? Mm. Come on, come on. Adako. What? She's been vomiting and she's shivering. My love, I, I, I'm, I'm coming, okay? So bring back dignity and harmony in play. Father, tell me what I need to know. I will set this house on fire. Father, Father, Father. Please, please. What is the problem? 
But no, my father is acting strange. He's not moving. The sky is overcast. Oh no, we don't have time. He's dying. Please. My prince, what will be, will be. Oh God. What is written is written. Kingship is a divine appointment. You can never turn down the will of God. Though it may delay. Where do you think you are going to? I am going to where I was sent to. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Go back and get this fixed now. Are you alright? Stretch. Yes. He wasn't moving and he wasn't breathing too. No. Your Majesty, I'd like to talk to you alone. anything reasonable. I think we need to see the DB. It's alright, but that will be tomorrow. No. Tomorrow might be too late. Everyone in this palace is sick. My wife, my daughter, and even some of the maids. You think something is wrong somewhere? Even the DB said it. 
my father is hiding something. No. The king wants to speak with you. Zora, I'm coming. You can tell me what is going on. Tell me the cause of what we have been through. for me. It's all right. I'll do so. Oh no. The sacred calabash must be taken away from the palace. Or death will visit the palace until there is no one left. But the sacred calabash has not been removed from the palace before. Even our forefathers didn't do it. Oh no. The calabash has been desecrated. By whom? That question should be answered by the king. Oh no, the sacred calabash must be taken away from the palace. There will be no one left in the palace if the sacred calabash is not taken away. Hmm. At least something has to be done to cleanse the land. A sacrifice or something. Oh no, official kingdom. It is the gods who has said sacrifice, not me. You can go to a three-branch road and make sacrifice. If they accept, good. Oh no. The sacred calabash must be taken away from the palace. What can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. What can tell me what to do to so bring back dignity and royalty? Of our land. Of what we have been through. Gods of our land. Please take it easy on us when the time comes. said we should remove the sacred calabash from the palace, then we don't need to waste time in doing it. You are correct. But do you will not agree to do so? Have you spoken to him about it? No, I haven't. But 
I know the Igwe. He will not agree. Hmm. Oh no. The palace is ours. If we allow evil to befall it, we might face punishment. We might face doom. Oh, Duku. No. Everything that is happening now, what is befalling us? I know the ego is responsible. I have tried to talk to him. I have asked him to tell me what he knows. But he has refused. All my efforts are to no avail. Hmm. You said the Dibia said we can do sacrifice if we like. Yes. Let us go and do it tonight. Keep sacred things, sacred respect. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, I am so happy. I am happy that you are now well. Thanks to our ancestors. They were the ones who sent me back. <laughs> <laughs> and they will continue to send you back until you are old enough to reap the fruits of your labor. You see? <laughs> <laughs> My son, AGK, will be returning from America next week. <gasps> yes, and um, after the Ophala, I intend presenting him to the town as the next Igwe. Ah, Igwe! That's a very good idea. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Igwe, I hope he will be coming to live with us now. Well, I am still praying. But he has no choice as far as I'm concerned. Because he's going to be the next Igwe. Ah, yes. Okay. He has to be here. Okay. <laughs> he has to be here. So that he can be learning from you. you know? <laughs> Let's drink because I've asked the maids to make a sumptuous meal for you. Oh. <laughs> Forget about your wife's kitchen. <laughs> My prince, don't worry. Hmm? Everything will be fine. Uh, on my part, I'm trying to do one or two things. Since the king has refused to tell me what the problem is. But don't worry, I'll take care of things. It's okay, I know. I've heard. Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yes, this is Prince Obina. What? What happened? He can't be dead. I spoke with him last night. Oh no. Oh. Ah, my prince. What is it? Someone just told me that AJK is dead. AJK is your brother? My love, talk to me. You have been like this since you returned from the market. Is everything all right? My brother, AGK. Yes, what about him? He's dead. What? How? What happened? Baby, talk to me. What happened? He was shot in a party. A night party. Oh my goodness, this is not good. He shouldn't have died like this. What was he doing in a night party? How do I tell Father this? <sighs> what about his wife and kids? I heard that his wife said that she will never come back to Nigeria. My love, you need 
need to find a way to tell your father. You also need to talk to Ono. I've told him. Okay. What did he say? The elders will come and break the news. So this is why I've been having this weird feelings. So this is this is why I've been having all this weird dreams. It's okay, my love. Take it easy. Uh. Your Majesty, you and I know that if you don't tell me what you did so that we can appease the gods, another person will die in this palace. Oh no, Your Majesty, I have trusted someone before. He failed. He betrayed me. Stabbed me in the back. I don't want to go down that lane again. Your Majesty, I am not someone. I'm your closest confidant in this kingdom. Look, if you want me to swear with my blood that whatever you tell this my right ear, the left one will not hear it. I'll do it. So trust me, Igwe. Majesty, you know a king is not supposed to shed human blood, let alone in his palace, in his bedroom, right before the sacred calabash. Your Majesty, you do? Who were your for? Okay. Mm. I missed you. Me too. How long do we keep hiding this from the people? You worry too much. I have told you that before the next of father, I will take wine to your people. This was the same thing you said last year. Oh, so you don't believe your king? I don't even know what to believe anymore. And I'm not even getting any younger. Are you serious? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here till day break. Uh, oh, my beauty. Did you have to keep the king waiting? I needed to make sure that everyone is asleep. Uh, come here, come on. This? Would you give the king a hug? You look sad, my love. What is it? Here is bad news. Bad news? Is your father well? I'm pregnant. What you call bad news? Of course. People will talk. Come. Would people still talk when I take wine to your father next week? Yes. For real. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> Let's do this. Alright, leave me alone. Let her there. Alright. Uh, a cup of tea will be okay at the dining. Alright. Come. Sweet little angel. <laughs>
Yes, what is it, Allah? Oh, really? Sit. My king, it's not like I'm asking for too much. It's just that I need some money to change my ways. And also, my father's house, the roof is bad. I need some money to change it too. Hope I'm not asking for too much. <laughs> Is that why you are looking sad and denying your pretty face a smile? Yes, my lord. You should know the king is capable. Don't worry. I'll give you one million naira for you to fix your father's roof and then change your wardrobe. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's why I love you. Thank you. Little things that worry little people. Ndukwe, please calm down, okay? You see what? Just when I come back, we'll discuss this. Your baby is fine. Everything is okay. I'm taking care of it. And I'm coming back with a huge surprise. And we're both going to be happy about it. No one is taking me away from you. You know that. You know I love you. And very soon we are going to leave this country. Okay? I love you too. Bye, bye, bye. We'll talk later. You fooled me? No, my king. I was on a call with my brother. You are evil. Possible for this pregnancy? Nduke touched me some time ago, but I'm not sure. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth, and I will forgive you and spare your life. Am I responsible for the pregnancy? Nduke touched me some time ago, but I'm not even sure. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. I think I... Liar! Blood and liar! That's who you are! How oh, is I'm going to lose this money? I don't know myself. all morning and now you're crying. <laughs> What's really the problem? Something terrible happened. <laughs> Did someone die? It's better somebody died. I feel like disappearing. Oh, yeah. Don't talk like that. Mm. You just tell me what the problem is. Who knows? I might advise you on how to handle it. But you can't solve it by crying yourself all the time. I've messed up my life. I quite want to die. My goodness! <laughs> my goodness! Ola, oh, oh, it's okay. 
Hola, hola, wait, hear me. Hola. Hola! Where are you going? house yes did anything happen nothing happened i'm just tired i can't keep walking here hola no one is treating you badly in this palace besides you're the chief maid and the king likes you a lot does it look like i care i don't even want anybody to like me any longer hola what is going on here your majesty it's 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 hola she says she's returning to her father's house. Take that back inside. I'm the one who tells anyone when to go. Take it inside. Cautious and careful in life To avoid regrets and living in grief Be faithful to your cause and your subjects Always be genuine your Highness, I'm sorry. You will not serve my food anymore. From today onwards, Ego becomes a chief maid. And I do not want to see you near anything I would eat. Is that clear? Thank you. You may leave now. I'm sorry. Be cautious and careful in life. To avoid regrets and living in grief. Be faithful to your cause and your subjects. What do you want? Always be genuine. Do you want me to kill you? I'm sorry, my king. I came to tell you the truth. Speak. Speak. Or you get out of this place. My king, the pregnancy is not yours. <laughs> Come. Come. How did you? That's not all I did for you. Calabash 
is for protection of the throne and not a symbol of royalty. Yes. I don't want to go anywhere. Maybe you would go there with my son. It's okay. Yeah. Your Majesty, we need to remove the sacred calabash from the palace to avoid death toll. We need to do the right thing. Please, let's remove it very fast until it is cleansed. I'll think about it. You have to be fast about that thinking. You have to be fast. Now listen, and listen very carefully. If this should happen again, <laughs> you might be on a journey of no return. What I'm saying in essence is, do not desecrate the sacred calabash again, or it will bring your death. <laughs> I say again, it will bring your death. Do not say I did not warn you. <laughs> GK is too young to die. The gods know better. Now we have to cancel the Ophala. Hmm. Obina. Hmm. I hate to be reminded of the fact that my son Obina will not be the next king. Because of his inability to have a male child. I know that. Something else has to be done. You will. And if nothing is done, after one year, this kinship will leave this place to another place. You will. I will help you to protect the throne. Until Obina will have a match ID. Ibezim, I have great respect for you. Do not talk anymore before I lose that respect. You said you wanted to see me. If this is why you wanted to see me. Ibezim did today is a sign that this throne is under a threat because of Obina's inability to have a male child. I must do something. But what must I do? Now that uh, my son AGK, uh, apparent to the throne of Isiala, is dead, I want to present Obina, my only surviving son, to the town as the next Igwe. Uh, Your Majesty, I, I think we should discuss only matters concerning the Ophala festival now. Ojuku, no pretenses. I know what you want to say. You think I cannot present Obina, my son, as the next king of Isiala, simply because he has no male child. 
Um, Your Majesty, as you know, your honor, I will not want to deceive you. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't pretend as if we have forgotten the customs and traditions of our people. Instead of us to do something that will offend the gods, I strongly suggest that we allow Obina to get a married child before we go into that subject matter. But for how long is this going to take? And for how long are we going to wait? Ah, Your Majesty, that is the question for the gods. Huh? <laughs> but that does not stop us from celebrating the Ophala. Your Majesty, can we now discuss about the Ofala Festival? This means that my curiosity, I was right after what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Your Highness, your food is ready. Your Highness, you... What did you say? I said your food is ready. I'd love to have some quiet time now. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Wait. My king? I'd love to talk with you inside. <sighs> Have I done anything wrong? Twenty-five years old, Your Majesty. Tell me a little about your father. My father? Oh. He passed away when I was still an infant. Have you ever dreamt of being a queen? A queen? No, Your Majesty. Never. It's okay. Um, you can go. Your Majesty. Cautious and careful in life To avoid regrets and living in grief Be faithful to your cause and your subjects Always be genuine and honest. Follow your process in life. Keep sacred things separate. There is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do can make. What is wrong with him? talking about asking if I've ever dreamt of becoming a queen I mean how can I dream of becoming a queen like is something wrong with this much 
What is wrong with you? You just scared the life out of me. Who wants to make you a queen? Is the king planning to make you his second wife? Well, what are you talking about? Everything is possible for him. If that is the case, congratulations in advance. You're a good woman and you make a good queen. <clears throat> Slide back. Could, could that really be what His Majesty was insinuating? Your Majesty, needless to tell you that uh, whatever affects you, affects me. Mm -hmm. I am worried. Don't you think Obina needs to find himself a second wife? Eh? So that you don't lose this throne while you are alive. In fact, although you cannot be more apt, this same issue has been keeping me awake all night. But I know what to do about it. Okay, if you say so. But whatever you want to do, you better mm -hmm. do it very fast. Mm -hmm. Because we don't have time. Certainly. This is a sign that you're a good friend. I can't thank you enough. Thanks for your concern. Thank you. Uh, wouldn't you have something to drink? Ah, no, 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 no. You know that I have to go and see my in-laws. I don't know from you. Okay. My king, you sent for me. Sit. Thank you. It's been seven years since you last conceived. And I'm wondering, what could be the problem? Is it coming from you or from my son? The doctor said we are okay to have kids. What is keeping the child from coming? They will come in God's time. God's time? Do you realize your husband will not be made king if he doesn't have a male child? I am hearing that for the first time, my king. Now you know. What else do you have to do apart from waiting for God's time? Have you ever heard of the saying that a new pestle makes the old mortar potent? No. Go and think about it. Be careful, handle it right. 
New pestle, making the water potent. How do I solve this riddle? No. No! I cannot do anything like this. Whatever you do can make or my you. Whatever that has to do with life, whatever that can take or give life, be careful, handle with respect because it is so separate. Is it not an abomination? It is better to appease the gods than to be put to shame in front of everybody in the whole town. And then what belongs to you taken from you and given to another? What about my husband? What about me? What about your husband indeed? He will soon be presented as the next king of this land at the next Ofala festival. Mm. Thank you, Father. Let me go and see my mechanic. All right. Okay. See you. He will never hear about it. My king, what if he's not a male child? You don't have to worry about that. Go. Go and start a new page for your husband and for all of us. Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Nobody must know about this. Not even your left ear. If he wants to hear, cut it off. You can trust me, my king. I will do two things. First, to trust you now. Or, to kill you later when the trust turns sour. I believe you know what I mean. Yes, my king. Good. You may go. My king, where do I meet her? I will give you that information on telephone. Lady, are you all right? You look very restless. Ego. Yes. Can I confide in you? Of course you can, my lady. The thing is... My lady, calm down. Whatever it is, you can share it with me. Tell me. Is the king asking you to do something you cannot do? I love my husband. I know. I cannot bear to do this to him. And why on earth would this come from his father? My lady, I still don't understand what you're talking about. What is that? I mean, what is his father asking you to do?
Never mind. I know what to do. Please be careful. Have you made up your mind? Yes. Good. I have made up my mind not to do it. I can't. You can't? Yes, my king. It is against my faith. Get out of my presence. Go. What rubbish. How did it go? God will not let me put myself to shame. I like that, my lady. I very much like what you've just said. You see, you're a very strong woman. Actually, the strongest woman I know. Please, don't let anyone, anything, pressure you into doing something your spirit is not comfortable with. Hmm? Ego. My lady. You are like a sister to me. <laughs> You've been very good to me. And I'm delighted to have you in my life. You're welcome. <laughs> Get me water to drink. Okay. Is that all? Yes. Okay. Your husband, my son, needs a male child. This royal household needs an heir to the throne. I cannot sit and watch my enemies take this throne. This is not fair. It is not fair at all. Well, this is not fair. It is not fair at all. This is not fair. Whatever that has to do with life, whatever that can take or give life, 